Hi there and welcome back. This is a continuation from two previous posts that were just uploaded, the videos of the straight line and coordinates. Now we are going to look at multi-plotting. What happens if you have different graphs and you want to either plot on the same page or on the same graph? You can either use different functions. We have the plot statement, we have the subplot statement, and we also have um, hold on function. So there's more than one way to do different things. The first one, we are going to look at different functions on the same graph, but different colors. So option one, first, I'll see, I'll see, but I also like to clear my screen. So here are, the first thing to do is to define our axis. I will say line space zero, all the way to 10 with five columns. Um, omitting it with the semicolon here and I will define our first function. I'll say first function will be y1 is equals to let us say x element stepwise function, stepwise function here notice dot power 3 um, which is x cubed y2 will be equal to sine of x and we are going to say plot x y1 we could simply add here, but we want to define different characteristics of our graph. We are going to use different colors and we are going to use different stylings. So the dash line is basically saying a solid line with a star and we want it to be red. Close the colon, comma, let's say x, y2, let us say the y2 graph of a function will be solid line. Um, well, we can say it can be vertical crosses and black, which is K, close the brackets. Our function should be able to plot if we end here, but I want to add some extra stuff, so I'll say title. I want to title my graph, plot y1 and y2, grid lines, I want them to be on, define our legends. So legend, single out our graph, to single out our function, so I'll say y1 and y2 we can also include our x label which is x axis and y label and we can define it to be y axis obviously if you're working with different parameters with different scenarios you can make it align to what you are working with now we're just working with y1 and y2 which is simple graphs okay if i run this file on octave we should get a graph and there we go this is y1 which is red our legends are showing and the cross line is basically y2 it is also showing option two we are going to subplot like every good programming languages i am going to clear clear all and clc i'm also still going to have the same functions y1 and y2 um same line space the only difference now is that we are going to add a third function which is y3 is equals to x dot power which is x squared plus 2 times x notice you have to put a star in between 2 and a variable so x that is my y function now i'm going to subplot so we are going to say subplot two rows two columns one position plot x y1 and I wanted to have a color of, um, let's say, solid line, vertical crosses, green, colon, close my bracket. So what we basically just said here is that we are going to subplot different graphs. The first graph, it is um, going to be on, we are going to have two rows, two columns, but it will be found on position one. And we are going to plot our function accordingly. You do not have to define this part here. I'm just doing it. But you could also just leave it at X y1 just that now we want to be definitive and show the characteristics of our graph whereby our graph is a solid vertical green line i'm going to do the same thing again for all my plots basically i am also going to plot y2 which is going to be found on position 2 and it's going to be a impulse line with star and it's going to be red and i'm going to plot my third function which is this function here which is y3 at position 3 sorry about that it's going to be position 3 um and i am not going to define any colors i'm just going to leave it like this here notice i am going to manually run this file onto my command windows simply because we already have another function here it's going to confuse octave it's going to run everything here for myself perfect as you can see 
this is our first position second position and third position i hope that makes sense lastly let us use the hold on function with programming language here are clc to use the hold on function we are going to plot two different functions on the same graph define my x-axis from length space starting from negative 2 all the way to 0 with it all the way to zero and one with, this, with five columns. Um, my first function, let us make it y1 is equals to x squared plus two times x and plot x y1. We used the hold on function, so let us also define our second function my second function will be y2 is equals to let us say negative x squared subtracting one um, plot x y2 let me put semicolons here i'm going to include legends to single out my functions i'm going to say the first function is y1 and the second one it is y2 this should be good enough if you want to you can define the x-axis and the y-axis. I'm going to copy everything and manually paste it onto my command windows. Here is my plot. I have my y1 being the blue line here, my y2 being the red line. Um, I didn't tell Octave which colors we want, so it chose for us. And we also have y-axis and x-axis. And the hold function, notice that all you had to do was say hold on and um, define your x-axis plot y1 and define your second function plot it as well and you can add all the extra stuff such as grid on or other things that you want to add as, add as well i hope this makes sense we basically just looked at plotting um, multiple graphs either subplotting them or using different colors or using the hold on function on octave there's literally more than one way to do a lot of things the more you familiarize yourself with it the more you get to get a hang of it here's a bonus one before you leave on our option two i think but this one when we are doing subplots if you want to showcase your legends all you have to do is put in a comma comma after a bracket is more like spacing so comma legend y1 close bracket same thing here comma legend y2 same thing here comma legend y3 this is in case you want to show your legends according to each plot or each graph that you just plotted okay let's run this file here perfect perfect so you can see that my legends are showing for the so this is the first um, graph function y1 y2 and y3 in this way it might make more sense